Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brad, and welcome back to Screaming Pirate EDC. Um, as you can see, we have uh, some new lighting, some new camera. Um, head over to my uh, Instagram, and I, I'll do a quick story and walk around in the room in here. Uh, good stuff. I'm really excited um, to bring you guys a little more uh, clarity uh, in both audio and video in the content. So today we have uh, another unboxing of two brand new Civivi knives that just came to market. But before we get into that, let's do a little bit of consistency. Today we have, oh, got some coffee on it. My Birch Tree Blade Works mug from Michael Birch. These are made by Deneen Pottery. They're my favorite. Uh, next up we have, let me grab that, the Swab the Deck Hank. This is from Renegade EDC. Very cool, love the microfiber on the back. Then my coin today is going to be the Still Time Coin V2 from Grim Pocket. Now I did do an unboxing and impressions of this coin and the other variation of it um, in the nickel, and this is going to be obviously the bronzed. Um, feel free to check that out. I'll have a pop-up for you guys. And then lastly, we have our unboxing knife. This is going to be the Civivi Imperium. Now this is with the gold flex. When do you guys see that? Have this knife because I am unboxing some Civivis. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at these. So we have boxes. Um, so I got the Elementum in black ebony and uh, wood with a black stonewash D2. And we have a bow, I believe. Um, yep, in red carbon fiber. So I'll go ahead and hold those up for you guys and you can see that there. Cool. So you know what? Let's actually get into the Elementum first. I have been told by a lot of people I need to give an Elementum a try. This is my very first Elementum. I wanted to wait till they did something fun. Um, I always felt like the G10 was kind of meh. And so I, I just felt like doing something a little more fun. Uh, standard pouch. All right, standard cloth, got all that stuff. Goodies, toss it off to the side and knife. Ooh, man, guys, that ebony wood is dark. Wow, that is dark. I hope you guys can see that. Like that is black, black, like they said ebony wood. Uh, all blacked out hardware, blacked out clip, very cool. Um, let's give it a flip. Okay, not bad. Shake shut, that's good for such a light blade. Let me do that one more time. So push button is good. And then let me see how it pulls. Yeah, I like the pull a little bit better, but I mean, that's a good flipper tab. Um, yeah, it's not bad. So uh, once again, if you haven't watched the video before, we have about seven and a quarter from the base of my hand to the tip and about four from the outside to this side. Uh, so let's see how this fits in my hand. Um, wow, that actually fits well. A uh, large size glove. Um, I can choke up behind the flipper. I'm not super comfortable there, but that's not bad. Um, I can do without this lanyard. It's not my thing. Um, I do it on some knives if I feel like it goes with the aesthetic. Generally, I don't like them, but that's not terribly bad. Uh, I think the detent is good. Uh, it's a bit stiff, but that's fine. Uh, nice recessed screws on that pocket clip. I do very much like that. Um, the ebony wood's cool, guys. It's just, it's just dark. It's just super dark. It's probably the darkest uh, ebony wood I've seen out of the box. Um, but yeah, not too shabby. I get kind of the hype around it. Um, I think there are better Civivis, cough, cough, Imperium, my opinion. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and unbox the bow. Grab that. Oh, I got my mic all twisted for you guys. Sorry about that. So let me go ahead. Hey, look, chiclets. Same packaging, same cloth, same box, same pretty much everything, guys. And let's drop him out of there. Okay. So, wow, significantly smaller than I thought this was going to be. This is this is small, guys. Tiny. Like, tiny, tiny. Um, wow. Like, 
the Elementum dwarfs this. And that's a small knife for most people. Um, Who? yeah, you are, you are small. I mean, like I said, guys, large gloves, it fits inside of my, my palm. Like that thing is tiny. Uh, yeah, so red carbon fiber, recessed screws on the clip, uh, you know, pretty standard for them. Probably, yeah, these are steel, stainless steel liners. Um, but yeah, let's give it a flip. Okay, so I have to give it a little bit more pressure and that blade is light. But if I pull, it, it, it's fine, it'll fire. But if I push, I really gotta push in on it. I do not like that lock bar release. So I feel like they made a few sacrifices with the bow, just my first impressions. Um, I mean, it's sharp, it's thin. I mean, it's it's not significantly thinner than the Imperium to me. Um, I mean, it's a three and a little bit grip, if you guys can see that. Um, it's okay, it's a small gentleman's knife is I think what they're going for here, like an office carry. My problem is, is they did texture the inside of that lock bar, but the problem is, is anytime I go after this and I bring it over, my thumb is getting caught whenever I try to bring the flipper tab down. So like, it's not bad, it, it's okay. Um, I think if you're looking for a small gentleman's carry, it's neat, it's kind of nifty. But in my personal opinion, I think go a little bit larger, get the Imperium. This is next to the Imperium. Just wanted you guys to see that. And then let me bring that up next to the Elementum. So you guys go, give you a nice idea of what you're looking at size. I know a lot of people have an Elementum. I wanted you guys to see that next to each other. And I'll bring the bow down and then bring the Imperium up next to the Elementum itself. So personally, I like uh, the blade shape on the Elementum a bit more than the bow, but I think that overall, I like the Imperium better, but the Elementum guys, not bad, not bad at all. Um, it's a little plain in my opinion. It, it just looks like a rounded off banter. So whatever, I feel like for what you're getting for price, for around the 70 to $90 range, Imperium's hard to beat. Again, just my, per my first impressions, guys. So that's all I really have for today, guys. Unboxing two brand new budget knives, or at least a redone on the Elementum and the new bow. Hopefully you guys are liking this. I'll give that the other side for you guys so you can see them one more time. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying these reviews. Do not forget, stickers are available. I will have a pop-up with my email and Instagram. They are $2.50 a piece. That is shipped. And uh, yeah, guys, if you want one, let me know. Well, hopefully you guys are enjoying these reviews. And you know what? I'll catch you on the next one.